All right, buddy. Real quickly, um, before this video starts, I am. It's hours later, but we're gonna rewind it back to hours earlier. But anyways, um, as you can tell by the title of this video, I think you know what I'm gonna do. So, just a couple reminders. Um, next month, Pronto gets launched here in San Diego, so I got a little Pronto keychain, and I got a card ready for it so, as well. So this is that has a little mini sleeve on it. Registry opens in the middle of August, which I'm excited about. Anyways, let's go ahead and fit this keychain onto the, um, on the thing. So take it out of its packaging. Ooh, it looks beautiful already. Look at that. Nice. And I think you could fit a photo or something in there. Maybe if I could get a, tiny version of my logo, I can put that in there. Like the TSC logo. That'd be cool. But anyways, let's go ahead and fit this on here. Here we go. It's going to require both hands for this, so I do apologize if I'm just turning downward, and that's just because I'm just trying to get this on there. Yeah. Ta-da! Cool, isn't it? All right, on with the video. Well, hello everybody. If you're wondering why, what I'm doing here at a transit center, well, um, it's because it's a very special day today our very own system, the San Diego Trolley, that's our light rail system here, turns 40 today and we're at the celebration. So um, let's go and see what it's all about. Look at this. They put all the trains on one platform. All the scheduled trains are on one platform. The special ones on the other platform for three hours. So this will be good. This will be something. So this is one of the new cars they're being put on the UCSD Blue Line. Whoa. So this is actually the new vinyl seats. They're all disinfected and look at that. These have actually only been in service for a couple of years already, but didn't actually get the chance to get in one of these until now, so this is actually what it is. It's pretty cool. All right, so yeah, this is car 501. This is the first of 45 that they're actually putting in, that they actually got recently. And there's 25 more that are just starting to arrive. Now, just a quick reminder, I am wearing a face cover because it is a skill requirement on board for the time being, given the case of variance. But look at this, instead, instead of having like transverse seating like you see here, it's now all longitudinal here. So as you can see, it's all just... So up here is the current map, but it's going to change very, very soon. So the map's gonna look a bit different starting in around November when there's another extension of the blue line that goes up from San Jose Depot all the way up to UTC. There's a little face covering PSA over here. Again, is this due to local regulations? And then this is the other car, this is the B cab. So this is B, and then there's an A cab. You can see they have... Okay, this is in fact... It's all, they're also air conditioned. Okay, so you can see there's a compass out there, but there's another big announcement they're actually doing. 
Pronto here as well. Now, here's something else that's cool. These seats come up like this. And that is for the handicap. There we go. Now, here's another cool thing. Watch this. I press the blue button. It's going to beep for a second, but the ramp's going to come out. Watch this. There it is. Haven't seen a ramp this clean since 2013. Sequentially is the first chapter right here in San Diego and they have retained it. So look at this one right here. This isn't a typical air conditioning system. It's actually a dynamic air pressure system. So there's roof mounted vents over here, but the windows occasionally do have to be open in order to allow for the circulation to go through. Let's have a look up here. This was an original poster from when it first opened. And in here is actually the operating tab. There's actually two windows, so the first window is actually in the Dutch door over here, so it's split in the top and bottom half. With the handicap ramp over here. And on the other side, you there's all the other controls. Such as the controls of panographs and turn signals, there's a uh, what's it called? A lever, lever for lever for moving it forward. And some other selectors. And it should be worth noting that this is also the only light rear vehicle, at least in the San Diego trolley fleet than the original series to have CCTV because they just reno they've renovated it for the um, they call it the Silver Line actually or Downtown Loop see here it is right here and that's yet to go back into operation because of uh, COVID okay and then here's a, another point here there's actually push buttons on either side, but some people will just use it like a squeeze trigger. So watch this. So even if you push both, either one of them, it will open like this. All right, now for something that we've all been waiting for, actually. Um, Cubic also makes a, the transit access pass system or TAP in Los Angeles. So I'm going to try this on a compass validator. Let's watch what happens. Oh, invalid. It recognizes it as an invalid compass card. So, now you know. Of course, with my older compass, of course, it will also say invalid or expired. Okay. And compass is going to be phased out soon with Pronto.
Thanks for watching. See you next video. And as always, adios.